Alright, welcome back to Let's Play Heroes of Might and Magic 3. I am your host, Board Gamer Girl, and we are about to start the song for the father scenario of the, uh, I mean, the song for the father campaign, oh my goodness, of the, uh, Restoration of Arathia series, we'll call it that way. Um, <laughs> I understand that probably for you, uh, well, the Liberation campaign seemed way longer than, uh, uh, the Long Live the King campaign did, the Liberation campaign, right. But, uh, for me, the, the Long Live the King campaign was just epic because I had problems and it, yeah. Anyway, let's just get started. <laughs> Alright, to win, the Necromancer Nimbus must reach the town of High Castle with the Statesman Medal. At the end of the scenario, Nimbus and your seven strongest heroes will travel with you to the next scenario of this campaign. Excellent. Oh, and here we go. Uh, the final step in the, arrest in the restoration of Arathia is to drive the necromancers of Deja back <laughs> into their barren homeland. With the resurrected body of King Griffinheart leading them, this will prove to be a formidable task. Right, so we can take boots with speed, basic logistics, or 2,500 gold. I'm going to go with basic logistics because that's the only permanent, um, like, bonus. And that just makes sense to me. Upon liberating Stenric, my fears were confirmed. My father did not die of natural causes. He was poisoned. Investigations conducted by General Morgan Kendall prior to the war yielded no suspects. Now I learn the necromancers, seeking a military tactician equal to myself, have resurrected my father, King Griffinheart. After killing King Vilmar, he took command of their military and their throne. Now they come to us. They cannot stop the monster they have created. As a gesture of good faith, they send a messenger to speak only to me. He will tell me who killed my father. Find this hero and deliver him to me safely. I like the zealots. That's pretty cool. The necromancer Nimbus bears proof of who killed King Griffinheart. He must reach our outpost safely, or we may never know the truth. Clear the road for him, and get him to our castle. Um, <clears throat> so as I think <laughs> all of you know, uh, Adelaide, Nimbus is the one who starts with basic logistics, yes. Basic eagle eye, what a joke. Um, and he starts out with the, the statesman medal, which is completely useless, because if he surrenders, it's like everything's lost. Just putting that there. But uh, I just want to say that this is the first scenario <clears throat> where, or the first campaign where I really came to, uh, well, to love Adelaide, who uh, I think you all probably know is my, uh, is my chica. Um, we do need gold, that is true. But we also need dudes. Town hall. Whatever. We'll get a town hall. That's fine. We'll be fine with the town hall for right now. Because Christian at least starts out with a ballista, which is nice. And you're just going to stay there for mostly the thing. Lots of skeletons. Oh, right. I was going to buy a mage guild. I'm stupid. Whatever. I have a plan. Alright, Tyrus. take the archers. I mean, that's not many of them, but... But one archer... I mean, four archers is better than none, huh? Alright. And now, lots of skeletons. We will hopefully be able to beat the lots of skeletons. If we can't, well, this will be a very short uh, version of the scenario. Alright, now you'll wait, and you'll wait, and you'll shoot them. Alright. Yes! That's what I like to see! Yay for high morale! 
We'll send Tyrus around to get that stuff. And we'll take out more lots of skeletons. So this is a very, uh, short scenario. <clears throat> but the key thing is that you want to max out your people as much as possible. It is basically imperative that you take the time, in my opinion, it's imperative to take the time to just upgrade everyone as much as possible because they're going to carry over and in some of the later uh, scenarios it's it's just significantly easier if your people do not suck. But yeah, that's my general opinion on the matter. There we go, yay! Yes, we would like pikemen. And we will take out lots of skeletons. Alright, Tyra, it's time to get us some, uh, stuff. I would love to get Adelaide here as well. Or basically any hero that I think is reasonable. Okay, no. But we're gonna be sticking with, uh, with basically castle heroes. For the most part. Question number one. Yes, yes, I know you're going to attack and kill half of them. Well, that was somewhat unfortunate. I will say that. Oh, oh, this was stupid too. Oh, all sorts of bad. Badness on my part. Thankfully, this is basically such an easy scenario that I don't really need to worry that much. Um, okay. Here's the next question. Question. Mage guild level one. Archer's tower. I think we're gonna go for the archer's tower. Because I want Christian to not lose any more dudes, and therefore he's going to run back and grab some archers. There we go. This is a much, much better force. And then we'll grab the Mage Guild next time. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Just because... Yes, buy me a spell book. Alright, alright. These are reasonable. These are all reasonable. We got the most important ones. I mean, not the most important, but we got we got good ones. Very nice. All right, yay for lots of dead people. Let's get ourselves some gems, and we'll we'll get some archers too, because then you can just pass them off over here. 
and save us all time. Yeah, Nimbus can't do anything. He's just going to sit there for basically the majority of the scenario. And also, we want to fight all these because, again, we have limited time. Um, well, basically, we have limited area in which to raise our levels up as much as possible. So we want to take full advantage of, of the time that we do have and the space that we do have. And the easiest way to do that is to, uh, you know... Oh, that is just... that's just so pretty. All right, pretty might not be the right word, but it's it's nice. I like it. But yeah, we want all these. Yes, pathfinding is something that we want. Like trying to remember the terrains. Like, what what do we have over here? But yes, I believe that pathfinding is indeed something that we want. And Tyrus, you can't make it there, but that's fine. Alright, now we want a blacksmith. We don't need lots of troops. I mean, we don't need a ton of troops. We should be able to get through this pretty quickly without too many troops. But. basic diplomacy, is that worth it? Meh. Whatever. I don't need diplomacy. I understand that it could be worth it, but I have my system, and I'm going to stick with my system for as long as I can. We're gonna go for money. <laughs> Very not me, but we are going to go for money. And you're going to stop. Actually, we don't need to go for money if I take over these stupid towns. This is stupid. Oh well. Hello. Uh, we don't need tactics. We will take pathfinding. Alright, now there are a couple of, uh, towns nearby. I think one is right there. Isn't that lovely? Okay. We're going to get you a spell book. I'm not really exactly convinced I know what I want to do with you. You're going to stay there for right now. So I don't realistically need money. <laughs> so I guess what we'll do is we'll go for the barracks, and then we'll go for the citadel. More troops. You know how I am about troops. And we're going to be taking experience because, well, that's what I want. Experience. Oh, excellent. Love it. Love Oh, totally missed that there was a dude there. I thought he just had a, a fort. I didn't realize he had a citadel. Hmm. Maybe we'll come back and get it. I'm <laughs> like, it's possible that we will. Alright, so they've got skeletons. You've got... Right, we've seen that. What am I looking at here? All right, we'll get a town hall, and then we'll get ourselves a citadel, and then I think we're good for the moment. We'll have to sit here just to make sure that uh, we don't have to worry about someone invading us. All right, good. What are we? Oh, we're getting a whole bunch of other random stuff, 
Excellent. All right. First things first. All right. Um. Ha! Sorry. Uh, pardon that noise, but uh, well, I think you all know what's about to happen, right? I think that's pretty clear. You're gonna come over here and get us some more pikemen. And then before we buy anything else, we are buying Adelaide. Because I love her. Alright, um... Alright, Christian. So there is some sort of purple hero around here somewhere. I just don't know where exactly. Um, alright. Now, Adelaide. Your first order of business will be to go over here and get, uh... that. She should be fine with the spell book. Okay, okay. Oh, this is so exciting. <laughs> I'm glad I get to uh, relive the glory days of Adelaide. Um. I'm like, I'm pretty sure these are just the, the, the two, only two towns. So, we should be good. Expert wisdom, we don't need no stinking eagle eye nonsense. <sighs> I love that I just get to do whatever I want with her. It makes me happy. Alright, yes, yeah, so buy some archers. And then, Tyrus, you have now become a secondary character. Because, well... Everyone is secondary to Dear Adelaide. What can I say? I just... Oh, just such a fan. So you can hang out here. And, uh... Just for the sake of my own uh, sanity, we're gonna get those guys just in case some random hero pops out of nowhere. Pack, lots, pack. Yeah, we're still fine. Because they do not have a citadel. Excellent. Excellent. So I can slow them. Or I can magic arrow them for like 20 points? Is that what that was? Maybe better just to slow them. Okay, well you can slow my archers. That's fine. It's not really like doing anything to me because they're not planning on having them move. I mean, yes, they go later in the rotation, but again, I'm not super. I'm pretty sure I still want to slow you guys. Good, good. Oh, we're so close to them being dead. Oi, oi, oi. Well, fine then. I will just magic arrow the bejesus out of you. Yes, basic wisdom. And purple has been vanquished. Well, that's... That's just lovely. That's just lovely. 
Alright, let's let's see what sort of spells we get to learn. Blind Death Ripple, which I mean whatever. <laughs> like whatever. It's it's fine. Um, you're gonna stay there for the moment. You well if purple's been vanquished, then you can come out and explore over here. And uh Right, so now we've basically taken care of you know, um, I guess all of the major opposition. Uh, the main thing is just that, like, now we need to, uh, to run around and, and get everyone their, get everyone their stat bonuses. Alright, we're gonna save up, because what we really want is to be able to buy some more mage guilds. That's the main goal. Mage guilds and uh Wait, where am I having you go? I'm gonna have you go over here. Um You know, mage guilds and as many stat increases and whatever that we can get. Yes, Earth Magic. Love it. I love you, Adelaide. You bring me such great joy. Uh, what we don't have is uh, enough sulfur. Wait. Yeah, we don't have enough sulfur. So we'll wait for a moment on that. In the meantime, Christian will come run around and get us some more gold. And resources that we're basically just going to trade away, but that's that's fine. Lots of whites. Well, we'll start by having her come over here because she's our main priority now. Although the fact that she doesn't have a ballista is going to be a little more obnoxious, but at the same time she has magic. And her magic does awesome things. <clears throat> now the debate becomes, do I, uh... Is do I just cut away, or do I show some of this stuff? I don't need a lot of this. The questions go will help her run faster, which is always good. Yes. Okay. All right. You have a pathetic army, so you're not actually gonna fight anything. Right. 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 Tyrus, over here, ooh, hello, hello for your tax girl. Okay, um, now, is there a sulfur location somewhere around here, anywhere, Bueller? And, right, okay, I don't want they or Axis, so, uh, yeah. Awesome. Hmm, I'm not convinced, Tyrus, that I want you to use any of those yet. We'll wait and see. Alright, we'll give her those gloves just to be on the safe side, and then, uh, just like in terms of speed.
Just because I can. Well, that didn't do as much as I was hoping for. Okay. Well, we're good for the moment. Expert Earth Magic, that's excellent. Whatever. Just have to remember that we're plus two, plus two. I'm sure we'll get ourselves some more. Some more resources. Oh, you haven't visited there yet. Well, you gotta visit there. What's probably going to end up happening is I'm probably going to end up just, uh, turn some of this stuff into, well, just, like, cut out until we get to near the end. Because at this point, it's basically just a waiting game of me running around. Um, so yes, I think that is probably what I will do. Because right now, I mean, you can watch her fight, but basically it's just her running around, killing things, getting all the stuff, because Adelaide and Christian will be my main heroes, that's the plan. It's a little reminder that uh, we're going to need to get her some There we go. Um, yeah, alright, we're gonna pause it here for the moment while I run around and get all this stuff taken care of. So, we'll be back in a flash. Okay, and I'm back. So let's take a look. Oh, shoot, one sec. Get you out there. you out there. And get you out there. Alright. There we go. Alright, so now let's take a look at our our heroes. We've got Nimbus, who we start out with. Eagle Eye, which is random, but you know, he's got solid uh, solid skills working up and 
decent power of knowledge, whatever. Orin is level 6, uh, you know, I mean, he's still pretty much a blank canvas, so we can definitely do some stuff with him. Uh, his magic isn't great, but, you know, he's got some attack power. Adela, she's my, uh, token expert diplomacy person. She started out with diplomacy, uh, she's got water magic and wisdom, um, so she's gonna have, like, town portal and all that stuff. She's, she's pretty good, um, for being level 6, definitely. Clavius, uh, he's got logistics. I basically took him because he was gonna get the plus 350 gold, and I was like, eh. You know, and I'm looking for, like, a 7th hero. I don't need all this great stuff. But, you know, he's shaping up to be decent. We got Tyrus is level 6. Uh, he's, whatever, a dope, but we've got him. And then we've got Adelaide. Woohoo. Uh, she's, well, we can take this stuff off of her. You can see that, uh, I mean, she's got pretty decent stats. She could use some defense, but she's got ridiculous amount of spell points and power, which is good. Um, and, you know, she's got expert earth magic, which means she's going to basically be able to town portal everywhere. Um, I gave her some basic offense just because she's going to be my main attacker, so might as well. Uh, and then we got Christian, who's our other, like, attacker dude. And you can see he's got pretty strong attack and defense stats. Uh, you know, we're hoping to get these up a little bit more in the in the next scenario. But, uh, you know, definitely definitely coming along decently. I, I like that he's got the logistics and pathfinding. Um, so he'll be able to move around well. And, yeah, that's, that's basically it for my heroes. So let's just grab... Wait, who's this? Tyrus. Alright, Tyrus, you come sit over there. My little hero party. And Nimbus will go here. And congratulations! You have reached your destination. Precious cargo intact and can claim victory. Huzzah. Uh, Alright, everyone. Thanks for watching. This is Board Gamer Girls, and have a great day. See ya!